it's Kenzie and today's video is a book review on Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. If you don't know what this story is about, it's about a young girl who suffers from a disease called skid. This basically means that she's allergic to everything. She can't leave her house. If she does, she'll basically die. And this family ends up moving in next door and their son takes an interest in her. And basically it's about their love story and those two falling in love and Maddie becoming more of herself. I'm going to try and make this spoiler free. If I fail, I'll definitely put it somewhere. I gave Everything Everything about a 3 out of 5 on Goodreads. It wasn't necessarily my favorite. It was a very cute YA contemporary, I thought. Very, very moving and very inspirational. It definitely wasn't my favorite. To me, it was almost too sweet and awkward. The things I did like about it was the writing was fantastic. I really enjoyed how Nicola Yoon kind of weaved Maddie's train of thoughts. It was kind of just like a stream of consciousness almost, but more more precise and I really appreciated how the chapters were they were short they're short chapters but at the same time they're like important chapters you have to read every chapter to truly understand the story and the characters and see the characters develop so I really appreciated that it was a really quick read um, I think I read it in about four hours and another thing that I really appreciated about this book was one the cover is absolutely gorgeous I love this cover and two Nicola Yu puts in pictures and diagrams within the writing that really bring the story to life. It really puts us in the mindset of Maddie. If you want an example, like here we have a picture of the diner that she's um, making for her architecture class. There's a, a map of despair, but there's several things like that throughout the book, and I think it really brings Maddie's character to life, and it really gets us in her head, and it makes us see just how our main character views the world and she does it in such a creative way that you really can't help but love and like look forward to the pictures and the diagrams that she puts in. Another thing that I really liked about this book was that not only is our main character really really developed but every character in this book could have a book of their own and that is talent. Granted I thought the book was pretty cheesy but I will admit that Nicola Yoon has a knack for writing. She has has a way of really just developing these characters and making us fall in love with them. For the younger audience that reads this book, I thought it was a very well um, written book. I've obviously said that it's very well written before, but by well written in this sense, I mean that the message that Nicola Yoon is conveying is a realistic one and it is one that has a good base. The story has a good theme in it and that is following your dreams and, and really just just embracing who you are. It is about living. And I think that those three things are so important for young girls to really read about and embrace. And if younger readers are reading this book and they're thinking about the themes placed throughout, then this book deserves a 5 out of 5. Pro most of you are probably wondering why I rated it a 3 out of 5. I rated it a 3 out of 5 because I felt that the characters um, lacked a true connection. Maddie and Ollie, I think, are are better off being friends. I think that their relationship is really kind of awkward and although they can hold conversation with each other and they have good conversations, they're not um, necessarily romantic. I think that this book would have been so much better, to me at least, had Maddie and Ollie remained friends. Had we just gotten Maddie and her development over time and her having a reason to step outside of her bubble, I think that that would have been an even more powerful book. Now, I'm not saying that I don't love Ali. Ali is probably my favorite character in this book. He has a lot. He is just such a strong character, and I'm so glad that Maddie met Ali, but I think that as of right now, that these two together are not necessarily what's best for each other. I think that they are, they're still in the process of learning things, and I'm not just saying this because they're teenagers, 
they're 17. Trust me, I I love, I love my YA novels. And I love teenage love stories. Like, I, I they're cute, okay? But this one, the characters are kind of just really awkward around each other, and that really kind of bothered me. And Maddie is still really learning about the world. She hasn't had social interaction most of her life. I mean, when you think about it, she has interacted with two to three people in person. Talking to people in person is a lot different than talking to people via email or Skype. Conversation and communication is all about body language and how people project themselves. And Maddie hasn't learned how to necessarily read people and how to necessarily converse with people. And I think that her diving in to a relationship with Ali isn't necessarily a good thing for her yet. I think that Ali and Maddie have a lot of potential. It may be in like a third book, but as of right now, I don't like their relationship. I think that it's a little um, forced and unhealthy. That was really the only problem that I had with this book. Obviously, it was a pretty big problem for me, but overall, I really did enjoy this book. It was an easy read, cute, creative. My only problem was Maddie and Ali's relationship in the end. I definitely suggest reading this book, especially if you're looking for a cute, romancy kind of easy to read YA. It definitely is worth the read, but that is all for this video. If you guys have any comments about the book, I'd love to hear them. So comment, like, subscribe. Thanks guys.